Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Molly and here we do sewing crafts and fun. Today I thought we would put together this Woobles crochet kit. I've had this for a while. My friend Emily got it for me and I don't have the instructions. So I thought we would just try and figure it out together. I have some tea. It's going to be a real cozy time. If you aren't familiar with the Woobles, they do these learn to crochet kits, which I think is a great idea. They have a bunch of little characters, little animals that you can make. This one is for Perry the Penguin. Let's take a look at what's in here and what we're gonna make. All right, so we have some stuffing. Here is some blue yarn. I know that they do, this is just like an acrylic yarn. I know they do a, like a t-shirt yarn now for the kits. So that shows you how long I've had this. <laughs> some yellow yarn. I don't know what that's for. Maybe feet. Some white yarn and oh, a little packet. Oh, it's the safety eyes and a darning needle. That's nice that they include that. I do believe <laughs> there was a crochet hook with this kit as well, but I, I've lost it or tried to use it for something else. But that is okay because I have a couple of those. I'm gonna look up a picture of this penguin and see what he's supposed to look like. Okay, one thing that's really nice about this is it does start with a magic circle for you. I love that. Easy way to get you going. Personally, I have only just learned to magic circle yesterday and it's still kind of weird to me. Here, I'll show you what I made now. So we have five, six, six stitches on our magic circle. I'm not sure if any of these came out or if it is just a six stitch magic circle, but I'm going to assume that it is and start off on a second row. I know Perry does get bigger than this, so we're gonna have to do increases of some sort. Could add three more, I guess. I'm looking at the picture of Perry on my phone and actually it does look like he has a pretty big increase for the second row, so I think I'm going to just double up. Doesn't it be about baby? Round two finished. And then I think we'll do another one where we increase, we'll, we'll do like one stitch and then increase on the next stitch because that seems a little bit more good and gradual. We have made a circle, look at it. The little top of his head. Do I wanna do one more row? Uh, I should probably figure out what this yellow is for. Oh, it's for his beak, okay. And then also the things that I'm most concerned about are the wings mm -hmm. because I have no idea how to put them on or to how to do anything with them, but we're not there yet. So I'm not gonna worry about that yet. Okay, I think we're gonna need one more round of increases. So what we're gonna do, do two stitches and then the increase. Finish that row. I think we are done with increases, but I don't know. We're making this up as we go along. So I'm just gonna do this for a few more rounds until I feel like it's time to add his little eyeballs. In other news, I cut my bangs too short, but they'll be fine in a week. My sister has been hyping me up a lot, trying to help me feel better, so that's good. I really enjoyed making that cat pattern that I showed you earlier. That, I think I said that was my first um, amigurumi that I've tried to make. And I really like it, and it, it didn't take that long. I like worked on it one afternoon, like two evenings while watching movies. I'm sure the more I try this kind of stuff, the quicker I'll get at it too, which is lovely. Safety eyes are kind of scaring me because once they're in there, they're in, you cannot get them out. Well, I'm sure there's a way, but I haven't Googled it yet. I think it's time to add the eyes. I really don't know if I should be sewing on bits as I go? I think so, because we have to stuff it and close it all up. So we'll start with the eyes and then I think we'll move on to the bike. Do you think it's cheating if I'm looking at the pictures a bunch? Mm -hmm. Cheating on my own little little challenge. These safety eyes are hard to get on. Oh, no, I got it. Ta-da! I don't know 
how the nose is done. It looked like it might have been a magic ring, but I didn't want to do that. So I'm going to start out by trying to just stitch into this little circle that I've made with a chain three. Well, I think that's going to be our little nose. I'm going to add one more row and then I'm going to do the nose. I think it was probably supposed to be bigger, but I like this petite little beak. Petite little beak. Sewing on the beak. Oh, I think this is coming out so cute. Look at this. Keep it going. Look at this. Isn't it I'm cute? Sorry, that it's made so me laugh. Cute. Right? It's really cute. That's right. I'm working late because I'm a penguin. I'm just going to snip these long tails. I think we can leave the ends inside and that'll be just fine. Not gonna weave them in because they're already in. Now I think we have to do wings. I'm looking at the picture and it looks like they're um, little triangles. Let's put it together and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Three, I should be doing magic ring, but I don't wanna look up a tutorial right now. I'm doing a loop. I'm crocheting six stitches into that loop. Then I'm gonna pull it tight and then I'm going to increase a few more times until I get a little rounded triangle. And that's my plan. Mm, I don't like this. This is not feeling right, but it could be. I don't know. Ta-da, little flippies. Now we're gonna try and crochet these onto his body. That's how I'm deciding to. I'm starting to worry about running out of yarn for Perry. I have a very similar color downstairs. If we do, I'm just gonna try going through the top loops of both side of the little flippy and see if that will attach. So thick, I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, it's kind of working. Is it time to yell? I think that'll work. It looks really big, but maybe once he has the rest of his little egg body, it'll look, it'll be, it'll be good. I need to work on looking like pleasant when I crochet. I feel like a lot of the time I'm just like. <laughs> it's looking slightly off. I should be pr trusting the process, but I kind of, I don't. I'm not feeling very trusting right now. I'm gonna be kind to myself. We don't have any instructions, so we're just trying our best. I just realized he doesn't have any feet. He's just a little egg. Look what we got so far. I think he's he's okay. Yeah. These really wanna go up right now, so we're gonna have to figure out a way to get them to stay kind of down. Or I guess he could be up. He could just be like a little cheering penguin, like yay. So I'm gonna do a bunch more rows, add the rest of his egg body, and then we'll come back when it's time to do the tummy circle, which I think should be pretty easy. We're getting so close to running out of yarn, so I've started decreases, and now we're going to stuff him. I think this might be my favorite part so far of making like, these little plushies, because then you get to see them like really puff out and like look like a plushie. That's a lot. That seems, well, it seems like a lot. We'll see. I was just telling Kate that I thought this video was going to be funnier because I thought he would come out looking kind of messed up, but he actually looks really cute and I love him. <laughs> yeah, I think they give you extra stuffing or maybe he turns out bigger if you follow your directions. Nice and round. We like a rotund boy. Two more increased rows and then we should be ready to sew his little self shut. Like you said, when, the, when they're all stuffed, it is kind of harder to crochet because I like to put my hand down into the into the cavity. And just, you can't really do that when they're full of stuff. I have to actually walk my dogs, so we're gonna come back to Perry later. All right, team, it's time for you to sh you to show me, me to show you my finished penguin. I finished him up at Kyle's house over the weekend and he turned out way better than I expected. Let me show him to you now. Da, 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 da. I really love him, <laughs> he's so cute. The only thing when I'm looking at him is that his wings are a little bit large but for the most part, I think he came out just great. I thought this video was gonna be kind of funny because I thought he would come out looking kind of silly, but he looks like a penguin. I'm too good at this, I guess. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Anyways, uh, that is our video. If you'd like to see more, please like and subscribe. 
we will have more videos coming out very soon. Uh, be brave and do your best. Okay, bye. Thanks.